In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Modbus communications driver in Mobicon Next. So I'm using a simulator to simulate my Modbus input. And we can just make a note there that the port is 502. So over in Movicon Next, we'll go to IO Data Server to begin. I'm going to come to my Drivers tab. I'm going to right click and add a new driver. I want to scroll down and find Modbus TCP IP. Hit Next. And again. And finish. We're just going to hop in, check the IP settings. Open settings, channel settings, and we want to edit the channel. Host name 127.0.0.1, which means it's pointing locally, and host name 502. Great. Now let's go ahead and create a couple of tags. So I'm going to go up to my tag list. Now it may say address space on your machine, it's the same place. Right click and add a new tag. I'm going to come over to my properties and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this M0 because I'm going to be looking at the holding register memory location 0. I want it as an integer. Now to address it we come down to execution to IO physical address. Hit the three dots. We're looking at the multiple registers or the holding registers also called. Start address 0 and we need to set the station station zero hit OK hit the tick and I'm going to go ahead and create another tag but this time I'm going to call it M1 now bear in mind these tags can be called anything you need them to be called so again I'm going to set the IO physical address but this time I want my start address to be one my station to be Station zero. So now I've got a couple of tags. I'm going to create my screen just so we can see the date. So now I've got my tags. I'm actually going to start, go ahead and start the server. Now this is a way that we can see data going in and out without having to start the full runtime. This is great for diagnosing comms issues and making sure that your tags are reading both ways. So now our data server started, if I come down to tags and click on there, it'll show me all the tags within that folder. So if we had tags nested inside of folders, we just click on the folder to see them. But we can see we've got value 0 in M0 and M1. I'm just going to put up the simulator here. I can change to 0, let's change that to 50. And 22 we can see we're getting data in. That's how you use the Modbus comms driver in Mobicon Next. Thanks for watching.